Hey, hi, hello, welcome to your Yoga Sculpt class. My name is Nora and it is a pleasure to be here with you today. For this class, we'll need some weights. I do not personally have access to weights right now, maybe you don't either. So today I'm using these juice and milk cartons. Now you might have these sitting around in your fridge. You may also use some cans of soup or beans, or maybe if you do have your own weights at home, go ahead and grab those now. Place your weights at the top of the mat and we'll get started. Sitting in a comfortable seat, either cross-legged or sitting on your knees. And take a moment to ground. Let your hands rest on your knees. Roll your shoulders back and down. Make the sides of your neck long and then gently close the eyes. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. Fill up from the bottom to the top. And sigh it out. And then just start to get still and quiet. And begin to notice the internal rhythms of the body. The feeling of the breath flowing. The feeling of the thoughts flowing. And get curious about what is going on in the body and the mind today. The practice of yoga is much more about hearing than seeing. It's about listening rather than looking. As humans, our sense of sight dominates how we make sense of the world. And it asks us to impose a narrative on everything we see to make sense of what we encounter. When we say, I see, it means I understand that makes sense to me. But when we close down our visual sense and we tune in to our sense of listening, listening to the sounds of our body, listening to the sounds around us, it takes a deeper level of tuning in. It means that we don't necessarily put a narrative, explain away everything that we feel and hear, but instead are just open to what comes up. When we say to a friend, I'm here, I'm listening, we're just holding space. So we're going to do that for ourselves a little bit today throughout the practice. Let's start to build up the breath. Take a big inhale through the nose. Fill up from the bottom of your lungs all the way to the top. Hold full. Let the breath spill out your mouth. Get empty. Pull your navel back. Hold empty. Big breath in through the nose. Fill the belly. And then the ribs. And then the chest. Hold it full. Get comfortable with the fullness. Tie it out. <sighs> One more round of breath. Big inhale. Fill the entire torso with air. Hold. This time, seal the lips. Exhale just through the nose. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the nose. In through the nose. And out through the nose. Start to find your own rhythm to the inhales and the exhales that will carry you through the practice. On your next inhale, gently blink the eyes open, plant the palms on the earth, roll over the knees, and we'll meet in child's pose. Knees can be as wide as the mat, or they can be close together. Big toes touch, sit the hips back down to the heels, stretch the arms forward until the forehead touches the mat. Know that child's pose is always here for you. If you need to rest, if you need to reconnect to the breath, you can always come back to this position. Take a big breath in. 
Open your mouth, audible exhale. <sighs> Inhale, tabletop. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly, pull the heart forward, lift the chin, lift the gaze. Exhale, back to cat, round the spine, push the floor away, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, cow pose, heart forward, shoulders back, broaden your collarbones. Exhale, press and round to cat, lift the back of the heart, open to the sky. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, back to cat. Last round, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, sit back to the heels, stretch the arms overhead, flashlights. Curl the fingertips in to make fist, and then flick water off of your fingertips. These are called flashlights. If this is too much in your shoulders, you can always bring the hands out in front of you. And uh, the faster you do this, the more you'll start to feel a burning in the wrists and the forearms. And that's exactly where we want to be. We want to make sure those muscles of the lower arms are warm before we put a lot of weight on them. And we're here for 10, 9, breathe, for 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it out, let that go. Walk it back out to tabletop. On your inhale, peel the heels of the palms up off of the floor and then peel the palms up until just the knuckles behind the fingers are resting on the floor. With your exhale, lower down just as slowly. These are called wrist push-ups and they're as good for your wrist as regular push-ups are for your shoulders and upper arm strength. Using your whole breath in to lift and your whole exhale to lower. If this is too much weight on the hands, you can always sit more weight back towards your heels. Walk the hands back in space. Make sure your shoulders are still lined up over your wrist. And then again, inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Let's do five more. Inhale. And exhale. Last four. Last three. Final two, smooth and steady. Last one. And release. Sit back to the heels, shake the hands out just a little bit. And we'll take a nice wrist stretch. So come back to tabletop. Flip the palms over so they're facing up towards you and fingertips point in towards each other. Shift the weight from side to side just a little bit. And same deal as before. If this is too much pressure on the wrist, you can always walk the hands back towards the knees and shift from side to side a little bit. Let's come back to tabletop, palms to the earth, all 10 fingers spread wide, tuck the toes, and then lift the knees just an inch, just an inch off the floor, almost like you slid a $100 bill underneath those knees. Lift your navel up and in, push the floor away to dome the upper back, and we'll take cat cow from here. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart forward, lift the chin, lift the gaze. Exhale, push the floor away, keep the knees hovering low as you lift the back of the heart up, navel up and in. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale, neutral spine, tabletop, knees still hovering. Exhale, step the feet back, push the hips up and back to downward facing dog. I'll let this first down dog be easy. Pedal out the feet, sway the hips from side to side, put a bend in your knees, maybe shake out the head. Feel free to bend an elbow or dip a shoulder. If you want to lift a leg here, that's fine too. And just get curious. What is your body trying to tell you right now? What do the shoulders have to say? What kind of conversation are the hips and hamstrings having with each other? As best you can, start to settle into stillness. Bend the knees a little bit. Push through the palms to send the tailbone up and back. Send the chest up and back. And then tuck the chin to the chest so the back of the neck is long. Big breath in through the nose. Sigh it out. 
Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees deeply. Step, step the feet up behind the wrists. Keep a bend in the knees, hanging forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy. If you like to sway here, you can shift the weight from one foot to the other. You can shake out the head. Mostly notice where your back body is resisting gravity. Where you're still holding tension. Big breath in. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Inhale, roll up to standing like it's the slowest thing you've done all week. No rush to get to the top. Head and arms are heavy as you rise. As you're reaching the top, roll the shoulders back and down and connect the palms at heart center. Close the eyes. Remember that you are in charge of your own healing in this room. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, offer yourself what you need to get through it. Take a big breath in, fill up with what you need. Sigh it out. Release the hands to the side bodies, blink the eyes open. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach the arms up, lengthen through the armpits, wrists, and fingertips. Exhale, fold forward, flat back all the way to the earth, maybe a little bend in the knees, release the neck at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shin, stretch the heart forward, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, plank pose. Take a breath in to push the floor away, dome the upper back, and lift your kneecaps up to the sky so your legs are active. Exhale, lower to the earth. Option to drop the knees if you like a little bit more support here. Point the toes. Inhale, baby cobra. Peel the chest up and back. Push your pubic bone down into the earth and then press the shoelace side of your feet down so much that your kneecaps lift up. Take another breath in. Lift the front of the chest just a little bit higher. Exhale, release to the earth. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, push back downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose and let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold from the hips, Uttanasana. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach up, rise up. Exhale, hands through heart center and down to the side bodies. Same thing, Urdhva Hastasana, reach up, inhale. Lift the belly, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, core in to support the low back. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, plank pose. Breathe in, lift the knees, push the floor away. This time, lower halfway down, elbows bend back, same option to drop the knees if you need it. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll to the tops of the feet, push through the palms to keep the knees and hips lifted. Exhale, the core tightens to lift you back to downward facing dog. One breath in. One breath out. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands through heart center and down to the side bodies. Last time through, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half rise. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back, and from here you decide. You can lower halfway or all the way, knees or no knees. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Open heart, active kneecaps wherever you are. Exhale, the core takes you back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. And sigh it out. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to the right tricep. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, knee to the left tricep across the body. Give it a squeeze. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the right foot up between the palms. Inhale, slow, steady rise to your high lunge. No rush to get to the top. As you do reach the top, you can step the right foot over to the right so that you have a little bit more stability. 
And then put a little bend in both knees. Big breath in, lift the navel up into the ribs, curl the heart up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Back heel spins down, open up. And then check in, make sure you've got front heel aligned with the back inner arch or the back heel. I prefer heel to heel, but it's really up to you. And then make sure you've got work going in both legs from the back thigh to the back of the room. Let the front knee drift forward in space. Arms wide, gaze out over the front middle fingertip. Breathe in. Hips get heavy on the exhale. Keep the lunge in the front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Flip the front palm. Reach up and back. Right side body, right lung expand. Exhale, extended side angle. Right elbow drops to the knee. Inhale, left arm high. As we breathe here, check in with the legs. Make sure you've still got both. Make sure you've got both legs working here. Back thigh firming, front knee sliding forward, hips getting low. Take final breath in to reach up high. Keep the core firm with your exhale. You inhale, reverse warrior. Take it up and out of the front hip crease. Exhale, cartwheel the palms to the earth. Slide the right foot back. Take both heels over to the left. Now you can stack one heel on top of the other, or you can place the right foot in front of the left. Inhale, right arm high to the sky for side plank. Now whatever you have on the floor here, push down. Can you lift the left hip to the height of the left armpit? Maybe you turn the gaze up underneath that right thumb. Last breath in, you might choose to hover that right leg. Exhale, right palm down, option to take a vinyasa, or you can simply lift the hips up and back to downward facing dog. And breathe in. And let it go. Inhale, float the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to the left tricep, shoulders over the wrist. Inhale, lift it up and back. Exhale, left knee to right tricep, give it a squeeze. Inhale, lift, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step the left foot through between the palms. Inhale, slow rise, high lunge. Option to step the left foot over to the left side of the mat a little bit, deep bend in both knees. Inhale, navel lift, heart rises, look up. Exhale, warrior two, back heel spins down, open up. Get both legs working. Let's talk a little bit about the hips. So imagine this right hip has got a, a weight attached to it, and that weight is hanging down towards the floor. Let that right hip get heavy towards the floor. Let the right glute soften a little bit. At the same time that the right hip is descending, can you lift your left hip crease up and out of the left thigh a little bit? Breathe in. Deeper lunge in the front knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lengthen left lung, left rib. Exhale, left elbow drops to the left knee. Inhale, right arm high. With every exhale, pull the navel back. Can you lean the right shoulder back? Push down through the back edge of the back foot. This breath in, reverse warrior. Take it up and back. Exhale, cartwheel the palms to the earth. Slide the left foot back, both heels to the right, stacking or staggering the feet. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, push down, lift right hip to the height of the right armpit. Last breath in, maybe hovering that left leg. Exhale, left palm down. Option to take a vinyasa or skip it. Inhale to your back and cobra or up dog. Exhale, the core engages to lift you back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Side out. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step, step, or hop to a seat at the top of your mat. We meet in Navasana boat pose. Feet up, take the hands behind the thighs. Lift the knees into the chest, lift the chest to meet the knees. Hug inner thighs, hug inner ankles, maybe reach the arms forward. Big breath in. Pull the navel back into the spine. Breathe in, lift the heart. Navel tight with your exhale. Inhale, low boat pose. So glue your low back to the floor. Keep the shoulders and heels hovering. Inner thighs are squeezing together really strongly. Big breath in. Exhale, right knee into the chest. Maybe you tap the nose to the knee. 
Inhale, lengthen, half boat. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, half boat. Exhale, right knee. Inhale. Exhale. Last three sets. Last set. Hug both knees into the chest, release the head to the floor. Soles of the feet on the floor, bring the soles of the feet together and drop your knees wide for Baddha Konasana. Take the hands behind the head, elbows wide, big breath in through the nose. Exhale, pull the navel down, lift the head, neck, and chest up off the floor. Inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, navel down and lift. That's it. Every time you're lifting up, can you get the bottom tips of your shoulder blades up off the floor? Hold, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We've got another set of 10. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. For nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last set of 10. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. For nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, final three, two, and one. Hold at the top, last hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring the knees back together, hug them into the chest, and then point the toes up towards the sky. You can have a gentle bend in the knees if you need to. Big breath in. Exhale, navel down, lift the head, neck, and chest up off of the floor. Two options with the arms. You can take the hands behind the head, elbows wide, or if you prefer, you can stretch the arms forward. Inhale, lower the legs halfway to the floor, keeping the inner thighs hugging together. Exhale, navel down, lift the feet up. Yeah, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Shoulder blades stay lifted the entire time. Inhale. And lift. Inhale. And lift. That's five. We've got ten more. If you want to bring the legs lower, you can. Make sure that you're keeping your low back glued to the floor. Last five. Last four. Last three. Final two. Last one. Hug the knees into the chest. Release. Woo. Take the hands into the backs of the knees. Begin to rock and roll forward and back on the spine. On your third or fourth rock, cross the ankles. Plant the palms. Step or jump back. Plank. Take a big breath in at the top of your plank. Exhale, lower. Halfway or all the way. Knees or no knees. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, active legs, open heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose and side out. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and reach for your weight. I recommend heavier weights if you have a choice. Keep those knees bent, push the floor away, rise to standing with those weights in hand. We're going to start with an easy squat and an overhead press. So roll the shoulders back and down, bring the weights on top of your shoulders. Now the elbows aren't in too close and they're not too far away, they're right underneath those weights. Feet hip width apart. Bring the weight back into the heels, and then sit down into your squat. 
And then focus on trying to tear the mat apart between your feet, almost like the pinky edge side of your feet are magnetized towards opposite sides of the mat. And you're going to feel the outer hips turn on a little bit. And that's great because we really want to focus on working on these tiny little, um, almost like the rotator cuffs of our hips. That's the muscle we're looking to strengthen here, as well as some of the smaller gluteus muscles. So take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale, rise to stand, squeeze the glutes, and then overhead press. Don't lock out the elbows, keep a gentle bend. We're going to do 20 of these. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. Inhale. That's it. Every time you're exhaling, make it sharp through your mouth. So that way you're firming the navel back into the spine. And then squeeze those glute muscles together as you rise to stand. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the squat. Keep the feet pulling apart, hips back and down. This time, take the weights back towards your armpits. Now you might need to adjust your grip on the weights if you don't have traditional weights, that's okay. You're gonna hold those weights in your hand whatever way that you can. Hug the shoulder blades together behind you. Big breath in. Exhale, tricep press. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, tricep press. Inhale. And kick for eight. Put a little bit lower for seven. Final six. We're in the home stretch. Last five. Final four. Navel up and in. Sit deeper. Last two. Last one. Good. Rise to stand. You can bring those weights to heart center if you need to rearrange a little bit. That's okay. Elbows wide. Shoulders back and down. Sit back to your squat. Take a big breath in. Exhale, rise to stand, kick your right leg back. Inhale, sit to the squat. Exhale, rise to stand, left leg kicks back. So notice as I'm doing this, I'm not allowing the chest to pitch forward as I kick. I'm keeping all of the contraction isolated to the glute and hamstring. Navel up and in, chest open. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back to the squat, rise to stand. You can set those weights down towards the top of your mat. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, plank. Option to take a vinyasa or skip it. Lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose. And out through the nose. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Walk your feet in about two inches and then bring yourself so far forward that the shoulders are stacked over the wrist like you've got handstand arms. We're going to do some donkey kicks here. So your breath in takes you right up over the shoulders so you find the arm position you're looking for. Exhale, deeply bend the knees so the hips are back towards the heels. And you want to maintain this closeness of the heels to the hips. On the bottom of your exhale, you'll push off of the floor, springing forward, and bring those heels as close to the hips as you can right away. We're going to do 10 donkey kicks. Here we go. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, bend the knees and hop. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, bend the knees and hop. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Heels in close right away. Inhale. Exhale. 
We got three more. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend the knees and hop. Inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, bend the knees and hop. Last one, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees and spring. Downward facing dog, child's pose if you need it. Three breaths in through the nose. Let it go. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Last one. And release it. Inhale, bring the shoulders over the wrist, plank pose. Step the feet about as wide as your mat. Make sure those shoulders are stacking right over the wrist. Big breath in. Exhale, shoulder taps for 20. Right hand taps, left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take the hips up and back down. We're chasing dog. Big breath in. Let it go. Inhale, roll forward, plank. Drop down to the forearms for forearm plank, and we're just holding here. Drag your heels to the back of the room. Keep your kneecaps lifting, and then think belt buckle to belly button. So you keep the hips in line with the shoulders. Navel up and in, and like your heart is attached to a string that someone is pulling forward, keep the upper back from rounding, the chest from caving in. Breathe through the nose. Drive the elbows down, dome the upper back. And then pull the heart forward again, belt buckle to belly button. Breathe. We're here for last three. Last two. And last one. Exhale, drop the knees, sweat towel or water if you need it. If you don't need those things, you can take child's pose or downward facing dog. And breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. In through the nose. And out through the nose. Beautiful. We're going to start on our knees for this next bit of practice. So come to the top of your mat or towards the top of your mat. Knees hip width apart. Shins pressing down on the floor. You're welcome to do this with or without weights. I'm going to add in weights, but you are not required to. Roll the shoulders back and down. Bring those weights on top of the shoulders. Take a big breath in. Exhale, navel back, overhead press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last two. Last one. Back to the shoulder. Inhale. Step the right foot forward. On your exhale, tuck the back toes. Overhead press, lift the back knee. Inhale, step forward to chair pose. Weights on the shoulders. Exhale, step wide into goddess. Right foot to the back of the mat. Toes turn out. From here, inhale, weights overhead. Bend the elbows. Keep those weights squeezing together. And then exhale, overhead, tricep press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last eight. Seven. Navel in. Upper arms hugging together. Final five. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, weights to the shoulder. Step back to chair pose. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat for goddess pose, other side. This time, take the weights out in front of you, or rather down towards the floor. Palms turn towards the side of the room. Roll the shoulders back. Hug the shoulder blades together. Inhale. Exhale, bicep curl. Sit lower. Last five. And four. And three. Last two. And one. Weights to the shoulders. Inhale, step to the top of the mat. Chair pose. Inhale, step the right foot back. Low lunge. Left knee back. Kneeling. Inhale. Exhale, overhead press. Last two. And one, inhale, step the left foot forward, tuck the back toes under, exhale, lift the back knee, overhead press. Inhale, step forward to chair pose, weights to the shoulders, exhale, step the left foot 
out, sit low into goddess. Inhale the arms up overhead, bend the elbows, tricep press for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, sit lower for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, step back to chair pose, weights to the shoulders. Exhale, step the right foot out, back of the mat, goddess pose, both knees bend deep. Inhale, weights down towards the floor, shoulder blades hug together. Exhale, bicep curl for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weight to the shoulders. Inhale, step back to your pose. Exhale, step the left foot back, right foot back, kneeling. Big breath in. Exhale, set the weights down, top of the mat. From here, let's take it back to downward facing dog. Plant your palms, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Breathe in and let it go. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step the right foot up between the palms. Option to pick up your weights. I recommend the lighter weights if you have a choice. If you don't have weights, don't worry about it. Inhale, rise to your high lunge. Weight stay at heart center, roll the shoulders back and down, navel in, and then pitch forward 45 degrees over that front thigh. Most of the weight is in the front foot, front leg. Peel the back foot up until just the big toes are touching. Keep your gaze steady on one point in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to the chest for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down, inhale, warrior two. Open the chest, weights can open to the sides of the room, micro bend the elbows. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm lifts straight up over the shoulder. Exhale, extended side angle, right elbow drops to the knee, inhale, left arm up over the shoulder. And then take that weight back to the shoulder, overhead press for 10, nine, eight, seven, navel firming with every exhale for last four, Three, two, and one. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm high. Drop the weight back to the shoulder, overhead press for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep that lunge in the front knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Weights to heart center, pivot to face the front of the mat, elevate the back heel. Inhale, lean forward, peel the back foot up for warrior three, back foot leaves the floor. Inhale, bend your standing leg, get low. Exhale, push the floor away, straighten the standing leg. Inhale, get lower, get lower, get lower, get lower. Exhale, push. One more, inhale, lower. Standing leg bends, back leg stays lifted. Exhale, push. Land the back foot at the back of the mat, keep Hinge forward. Inhale, drop the weights towards the side body. If you need to readjust your grip on the weights, go ahead and do that. So drop the weights down towards either side of the foot. Exhale, row. Hug the elbows together behind the back body. Inhale, lower. And row. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights to heart center, lift the chest. Exhale, set the weights down top of the mat. Slide the right leg back, plank. Option to take a vinyasa or send the hips straight back to downward facing dog. Breathe in for the back bend if you're taking it. Exhale, we all meet in down dog. Other side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, step the left foot up between the palms. Option to pick up light or heavy weights. Inhale, rise, weights to heart center. Exhale, lean forward, navel in. You're not resting on this front thigh, but the core is supporting you up off of it. Take a breath in to find your steady gazing point. Peel the back foot up. Exhale, right knee to chest. For six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Land the back foot down. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Back heel spins down, hips and chest open to the sidewall. Option to open the arms wide, little bend in the elbows. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm straight up over the shoulder. Exhale, extended side angle. Drop the left elbow to the knee. Inhale, right arm straight up. And then take it back to the shoulder. Overhead press for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, reverse warrior. Drop the back hand. Inhale, left arm straight up. And then drop it to the shoulder for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep the lunge for 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Weights to heart center, pivot, elevate the back heel. From here, we're gonna do a back fly. So lean forward over the front thigh, squeeze the left hip in towards the center line, inner thighs are hugging in together. Inhale at center, exhale, lift from the elbows, open the arms wide. Now you might need to rearrange your hold on the weights again, that's okay if that's what's going on. Take a breath in, exhale, lift. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights down at the top of the mat. Hands to the floor. Slide the left leg back. Option to take a vinyasa. Lowering halfway. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Option to drop the knees for child's pose. Option to take sweat towel or water as well if you need it. All right, we are almost done with the work for today's class. We have one last little push. Let's meet in downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose and let it go. Inhale, lift your heels, lift your hips, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pick up just one of your weights. Little bend to the knees, rise to standing. And then step your left foot out to the back of the mat so you're, you're turned wide. And you'll take the feet about hip width apart. Bring your left hand out of the hip and your weight into your right hand. Take a big breath in through the nose. On your exhale, transfer the weight into the right foot. Your left leg will lift to the height of your left hip or thereabouts if you can get it there, and the right arm reaches out to the right. <sighs> Inhale, center. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale, center. And I'm going to have to change my grip here on this. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale, center. Exhale, lift. <sighs> That's it. We're here for another six. See if you can keep lifting up out of your right hip by engaging the core, lifting the navel up into the spine and up into the ribs. Last three, two, and one. Inhale, center, let's switch. Weight into the left hand, right hand to the right hip, big breath in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, center, exhale, lift. We're here for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Take the same weight that you've got. Roll the shoulders back and down, elbows wide. Weight pressing between the palms. If you want to add in another heavy weight here, you're welcome to. Let's start with the feet hip width apart. Sit the hips back and down into a squat. We're going to pulse here for ten. Nine, eight, seven. Keep tearing the mat apart between the feet for five, four, three, two, and one. Step the right foot out for a wide squat. We're pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right foot steps behind you for a curtsy squat. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Step together. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Left foot steps wide for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Curtsy squat for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step together for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right foot steps wide for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step behind for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step together, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step wide for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step behind for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last set together, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right foot steps wide for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step behind for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step together, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step wide, left foot out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left foot behind for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. We done. Walk to the top of your mat. Place your weight down. Sit yourself down on your bum. Last push. Lay yourself down on your back. On your back, make sure you can touch your heels with your fingertips. Feet are hip width apart. Big breath in. Exhale, push the floor away. Lift the hips up. Good. We'll do the same thing that we did in our squats. So try to tear the mat apart between your feet. Inhale, lower the hips halfway to the earth. Exhale, push to the sky. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, and push. We're here for 15. Last 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really. Whew. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little roll around on the low back. Soles of the feet on the floor. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Supta Baddha Konasana. And just feel that prana, the life force, the heartbeat, the breath, the blood pumping. Feel all of that flowing through you right now. Gently take the hands to the outer edges of the knees and close them like the pages of a book. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and flex your right toes. Now, without using your hands, just try pushing the right thigh towards the front of the room and you'll feel a, a deep hip stretch turn on there. If you want a little bit more, you can hug the left knee into the chest. Hands can thread behind the left thigh and you might even bend the right elbow and push it out into the right knee. Stillness might be calling to you here, or you can rock from side to side. And lightly release the left foot and release the right foot. 
other side, left ankle on the right knee, flex the left toes. Try pushing the left thigh away from you, just using the strength of the hip and thigh muscles. And then option to hug the right knee in. Bend the left elbow and push it out into the left knee if that feels good. And a little bit of rocking as well across the low back if you'd like. Gently release right foot and then left. Take your left leg long, hug your right knee into your chest. Inhale, reach the right arm out to the right. Exhale, draw the knee across the body to the left side of the mat. Now, it doesn't really matter how far you can bring this knee across the body. What matters is if you can keep the right shoulder blade on the floor. So if you've let that right shoulder blade come up, take your right knee back to center, reground the right shoulder, and then only bring that knee as far across as you can while keeping the right shoulder down. If it feels good, you can look to the right. If that doesn't feel good on the neck, keep it neutral, look towards the sky. You did a lot of hard work today. So don't worry so much about holding a shape here. Try to let yourself just be heavy on your mat. Take a big breath in through the nose, fill all the way up. Side out. <sighs> Inhale, right knee back to center. Exhale, trade it out. Left knee comes in, right leg goes long. Inhale, left arm out to the left. Exhale, draw the knee across the body to the right. Left shoulder grounded. Option to look to the left if that feels okay. Big breath in through the nose. Bigger sigh through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, left knee back to center. Right knee comes in, take full happy baby. Catch the outer edges of your feet and pull down towards the armpits. If catching the outer edges of the feet isn't accessible for you, take the hands into the backs of the knees and pull down from there instead. And if you'd like to bring in some rocking across the low back, give yourself that. And gently release the feet, curl the knees into the chest. Lift your chest to meet your thighs, lift your head to meet your knees. Take in a big breath of air, fill all the way up to the top. And hold the breath in, make tight toes. Tight legs, tight arms, tight fingers, tight core muscles, tight facial muscles. Sip in just a little bit more air. Exhale, Shavasana. Let the legs go long. Let the arms go long. Nothing left to do but listen to the rhythms of your body.
Take a deep breath in through your nose. <sighs> Let it go. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Drop one ear to the mat and then the other, massaging the back of the skull against the floor. And on a big breath in, reach the arms overhead. You might interlace the fingers and push the palms away from you as you point the toes. Full body stretch. And exhale, curl the knees into the chest. Roll to the right side using your right arm as a cushion for the head. And then slowly press up to a comfortable seat. Take the hands into heart center as you land in your comfortable seat. And allow yourself a moment of gratitude for tuning in to the most sacred sound, the most sacred rhythm that you will ever hear. And the sound and rhythm of your body breathing, existing, and being. Take the thumbs up to the third eye between the brows. Fill up with a big breath. Offer your exhale to the room. As we bow forward in reverence to each other, we acknowledge our wholeness and together we say namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice and your presence with me today. Um, if you like this class, Please like, subscribe, comment, share it with friends, um, do the workout with your friends, um, send me pictures of you doing the workout. I would love to see you enjoying this class. Until next time, namaste.